Welcome to the Excited to Be video series. My name is Rita Sova. Watch for more educational videos and be project videos at SovaEnterprises.com. Thank you. All right, our working thread is at the bottom and our tail thread's at the bottom. We're going to weave our working thread back up to the top by stitching through beads and you don't want your thread to show so watch where you're going usually it's a bead on the right, a bead on the left, a bead on the right if it's a tight fit use a size 12 needle because these beads can break and then you have to start your project over because it's hard to put a bead in so I'm just stitching up towards the top And I'm coming out at the top and I'm going to go through a T bead, a turn bead at the top. And I'm going to stitch through all 18 turn beads. And you can go through two or three or four at a time, however many is com comfortable for you. Go all the way around and stitch through all of them. Make sure you don't miss anything. Okay. So now when you've gone through all of them you can snug these up, tighten them up because you don't want your wooden spool to fall in or out, up or down. So we're going to go through all these beads twice. So that was one time and now I'm going through four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and one more. So they're snug. But what's happened when I pull here, now these aren't too far away. We need to work that. So you're going to put a needle on your tail thread and you're going to go through all the 18 beads down here on the bottom. and pull as you go. When you go through all 18, when you give it a tug, they'll s snug in. And you can push that spool down. Now see they're snugging in. And the top side is snugged in. So that's perfect right here. So on the bottom, we're done with the fire line. And I don't like to go around this, these bottom beads too many times because your fringe is going to hang from here. So this is nice and I'm going to secure this thread by weaving through some of the side beads. And I like to do a couple circle stitches. Now I'm doing the two aqua beads together. And it secures the thread because we are going to cut it as soon as we're sure everything looks good. Now I'm going to circle stitch the cream beads together. I'm going to go up a bugle and then I'm ready to take this thread off. So I use a thread burner and burn this tail thread. So it's out of your way now. And 
now we're working with the top thread. And our circle looks good. And we're going to add beads to the center. So you're coming out of a T bead, pick up two cream, skip two of the T beads, and go through the next one. These two beads go inside. And you're going to pick up two beads, skip two beads, and go through the next one. You're going to do that all the way around. Skip two. Just a few more. Skip two. And two more. Skip two and you're going through the original T bead you started at. Step up by going through the first two cream beads you added. So now we're going to stitch through all these cream beads, just the cream beads, two times. So that's set one, set two, set three, set four, set five, set six, and then we're going to do it one more time. And then we're done with this thread, we're going to secure it and cut it off. Then we'll be ready to start our fringe. So when you get this woven in, come back and we'll start the fringe.